Annyeong. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Gohan. And it's your girl, Rose, a.k.a. C Twice, a.k.a. Chocolate Thunder, a.k.a. Sedong. What's up? <laughs> he just spit up. Mm. Oh, my God. Okay, it wasn't a lot. It should be no big deal. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Smoking OG to keep me stay steady. I know the clip, I always stay ready. Had that boy puking like mama spaghetti. Welcome back to our channel. So Welcome. today we're going to be doing the one the what is it called? One month and a half baby update. Is that what we're calling it now? Maybe. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna be doing the one month baby update or whatever because as you know, the bond has been in this wonderful, wonderful world for over a month yeah you guys have been wanting to see him or whatever so we're going to just have him here with us this whole time this is the first video that you're going to be in the whole time but he's sleeping right now we try to catch him when he was awake but he just he's a little sleepy head we asked you guys on instagram what you guys wanted to like know or if you had any questions for us like about parenting or about the baby so we're just going to answer a couple of those questions today what food does he like Titty milk! Do you want to cry with him when he gets his first baby shots? I'm going to cry with him when he gets his um, first important shots, like the... Immunization shots. Yeah, when he's like two months old. Who does your baby look like more? I like to think he looks more like me because I think he has my skin color and he has my nose and he has my lips. I would say he's a baby boy rose with my eyes. You know what? Pretty accurate. I mess with that. Like, I feel like that's very accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fun fact about Savon's eyes. He actually has one mono lid and one double eyelid. Double lid. Mono lid. Yeah. But actually, you guys can tell us. Who do you think he looks more like? Leave in the comment section below. Let's pose for them. Close your eyes so we look just like him. <laughs> Did your day and night switch? Pretty much, because I would say Savan's schedule is like, he likes to sleep during the day and then he's awake almost all through the night. He goes to sleep around 5 a.m. Um, is being a dad or mom difficult and your baby is so cute? Thank you. Thank you. Is it difficult? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, like, it's not easy, definitely. I will say that this is one of the most rewarding experiences that I think we both have mm. ever been through, but yeah, it is difficult. You're basically rearranging your entire life to fit around somebody else's what was the hardest transition that y'all had to make once the baby was born sleep yeah because we have to do it accordingly to the baby's sleep yeah when he sleeps we have to sleep at first we did that thing where we were doing um shifts and so he would watch the baby for a certain amount of time i would watch the baby for the same amount of time and then that was just it but that was kind of like taking a toll on our relationship as parents because we weren't spending time together as well so we changed that and so now we yeah just sleep when the baby sleeps and i feel like that's more productive it's, yeah, like it's hard but it's getting easier you know like he sleeps at night now for like he used to wake up every two hours now he wakes up like every, every four or five hours when he's at night time yeah so it's, it's only getting better yeah i mean he sleeps a lot he sleeps for like seven hours at a time mm. Who do you think your child will grow to become more like? I hope to God he has my personality. Okay. My dazzling personality. Okay. <laughs> will he have Korean style birthday or American or both? I think both, right? If he likes Korean food, I will cook Korean food as much as I can for him on his birthday. But then I think he'll have more of an American cultural. Like thing. the Korean soup, myokgu for uh, his birthday. Myokgu. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is though like because i make my birthday an event or whatever so i want savon to have like the same experience like, yeah i'm gonna go all out for his birthday yeah uh, right baby boy he said he said yes not <laughs> he's leaving me alone okay how fat is the baby He's fat as hell. Like, he's he's so I like big. that though, yeah. Like when he was first born, he was actually underweight mm -hmm. a little bit, but like he just got so big so fast. I'm proud of him. He got so fat. <laughs> nicknames for Savan. One of his nicknames is actually Fatty. <laughs> yeah, one of his nicknames is Fatty, the other one's Burrito because we used to wrap him around. Like the swaddle, we yeah. used to call him a little burrito. A little burrito. Mm-hmm. Do you speak Korean on a daily basis to the baby? 
if, actually yeah if you ask on a daily basis yeah we do it every day yeah if you ask do you use it all the time no but we use it a lot you especially yeah i, I don't know why i told you you had to speak greedy yeah what's something you wish your parents had taught you before being a parent that is hard <laughs> because they make it look so easy mm. like my mom had four kids and she was a single parent too and then your mom had like two kids yeah. but like even us just like raising one like it's a great experience but it's like it is really challenging they taught us time. it was they said it was hard but it's, i didn't imagine it was hard hard has the baby been sleeping through the night not really well kind of he's gotten a lot better because i think like you said before he sleeps like in the beginning he was sleeping two to three hours at a time and then like one day he like literally overnight he was sleeping for like four hours at a time and now like he'll take his three to four hour naps or whatever and do those little intervals and then like at 5 a.m he'll literally just like pass out for about seven hours what did you guys do with the gifts you got in the baby shower so about the baby shower if you watched our baby shower video then you know that we were actually expecting Savon to be a baby girl and his original name was supposed to be Savine and everything like that and we had a whole baby shower and the thing was pink all the clothes he got were pink there was dresses pink and pink mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I wore pink shirts so yeah explain but then he popped out with a <laughs> yeah Lulu. with a little loop mm -hmm. it was a little boy um and so we have a lot of pink things and a lot of dresses and like stuff like that we just use them yeah <laughs> i mean not the clothes we don't use the clothes but like the blankets and stuff like why not like no. he's not gonna remember and i think we're just gonna save them when we have baby number two and hopefully it's a girl yeah hopefully because we got all that girl stuff so we're having that baby girl what is the funniest thing he's done so far or what's the most memorable? <laughs> yeah, and then also another thing that he does is um, when he cries, like his fussy cry, mm -hmm. he goes, <laughs> That's literally what it sounds yeah, in like. In Korea, baby sounds, they pronounce it as unge unge. I didn't know why it was like that. I thought it was like, I thought it was like they forced it to sound like that, but then they actually sound like How is his head holding up? Has his nightly routine changed? He can't obviously like hold his head up by himself. <laughs> yes. It's like a little bobble head. Yeah, he's only on We try to do tummy time as often as we can, and like you know, he's getting better, but the most that he can do is like roll on his side. Has his nightly routine changed? Kind of, yeah. It's starting to change. Like overnight, like a couple days ago, he's he starts sleeping a hell of a lot. Yeah, he slept at like 11. Mm. Two, two, six. Yeah, that was heaven for us. Uh, like, are you guys raising the baby with Korean traditions or Western traditions? I'd say mixed because I want to teach him about the like food, culture, history, but then that doesn't mean he's going to grow up in a Korean, Korean like environment. So he's going to have both. 
Yeah, I would say both as well. I think I want to expose him to as much Korean culture as possible, especially because he's not going to be growing up there, but because that's like part of him. Like, he's he's going to be a uh, American with Korean and Haitian like cultures inside him. Yeah, I think so. Did the baby make your relationship as partners stronger or weaker? Stronger. It's, we can't play around anymore. We have a whole baby and a family, so we engage it more like seriously and like take it take it like heavily and it makes it forces us to be stronger and tightly bonded if we don't move as a unit it's over for us does the baby eat well mm -hmm. is that how he eats he actually does that yeah yep yep he's answering he said yep he stay eating good <laughs> disagreements about life with the baby Oh, we have, so. one. we have one. Really? The sleepover thing. Oh, but that's for like when he's like grown up, when he's like older or whatever. Okay. So I don't know how y'all feel about this. You can drop it in the comment section below. Tell me how you feel about this. But I guess we'll just like express how we feel about it. So sleepovers. Right. When he when he's in school and he has friends, he wants to go sleep over at a friend's house. My opinion is as long as we know the parents or whatever, we, he he had, he should be free to do so. Because when I was young, I always wanted to sleep over, but because of like safety and like those kind of like concerns, um, usually they came over to my house or I wasn't able to, you know, I wasn't able to go to their houses. And that was like, I wanted to go so bad. But then at the same time, like tell, tell them you're. My mom is Haitian. Enough said. Sleepovers are a hell no. If he wants to have a sleepover, they're coming to our house. And that's just it. Oh, even even though she has Haitian, like that's the if they're coming over to our house or if we know them really good, then it's okay for you to like. Right? Even if you, if it's like your brother, like we know them really good. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Does he wake you guys up in the middle of the night, or is he really calm? He okay. He eats. He has a one hundred percent, like two or three hour of sleep at least until he wakes up. So. We, he does wake up us and wake us up in the middle of the night, but because he has to, and he's calm when he's sleeping, really calm at night. Do you and Soros feel like there's less intimate time, love making time because of the baby? Um, we make it happen. <laughs> so those are all the questions we're gonna be answering for today. We really hope that you enjoyed our one month baby update, and really hope you enjoyed seeing Saban. For the first time in a while look how big he is now um if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more videos then don't forget to like and subscribe but also tune into our channel next week for more videos say bye saban okay bye you know I'm whipping that foreign. Yeah. Fresh out the bus, so I'm foreign. Yeah. My ninja's Haitian and they bust that chopper, so if you want smoke, you keep playing. A week ago, I went to Soho. I fuck your bitch in a dojo.